Welcome to Cultaholics Wrestling Video Podcast. The first of hopefully many. We'll see if this is good. And I am Matthew, the guy that does Botchumania and is from Bishop Auckland. This is Jack, who, if this was Zootopia, would be played by a penguin. And this is Ross, a man who I do not know anywhere near enough to be taking the mick out of him on camera. I said mick and not. So how are you doing, sir? I am tickety-boo. How are you? I'm... I'm min. <laughs> I, asked, I asked you. <laughs> I gave you an answer. Yeah, okay. So, Jack, I'm all right. I'm the, much, the much nicer of my companions, wow. as we are stood here in this marvellously set uh, natural positioning of stood up next to a whatever this is. Snowball. Why is it snowball? Because it's round. Cool. You all right? You good? I'm fine. <laughs> I'm tickety boo. You're tickety boo as well. I just came off the top of my head. I'm 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 semi tickety boo. Oh. Ready cool. for the weekend, you know? Yeah, that's it. We f we we look like normal people. <laughs> I like the week. Do you like the weekend? Ooh. To be fair, lads, lads, lads. The eternal struggle of a wrestling fan is to pretend to be normal, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's a great way to wow. start. Yeah, it's a fantastic way. You're to start. all freaks. Hi, fans. <laughs> look at us, but don't talk to us, please. Um, all right, that's enough looking like we like each other. Uh, <laughs> by the way, if you don't want to watch us talk about wrestling, given that we are experts, um, I believe Ross was in New Japan for 10 years, uh, you can listen to this on SoundCloud and where else? It's coming soon to iTunes. That's soundcloud.com slash cultaholic. And of course here on YouTube as well. The best bits will be probably put on Twitter out of context, make it sound like massive racist. <laughs> I guess that like I guess that we should go like through a little rundown of what's gonna happen, so we're gonna go through Oh yes, of course, because Cultaholics is empowering us to talk There's about There's no S on the end of that. Cultaholic Matthew. It's just cultaholic. Come on now. We're friend. cultaholics. Nah, no, really come on, friend. Like. They are cultaholics. We, we are, we are cultaholic, cultaholic uh, comma eh, oh, fuck, yeah. Um anyway, we're gonna be talking about the news. Bit of news. The good, wholesome news, uh, not the problematic Twitter news. Mm. Uh, mixed match challenge is happening in WWE. Wow, isn't this going to be fantastic? Are you not actually excited for it? Or was that just a bit no, you know, uh, not particularly because oh, it's, it's a gimmick. Work. It's yeah, like Joker's Wild or Battle Bowl. It's like, it, and it's an entire series of mixed tag matches. I'm yeah. like, oh, they're always good. You but know. I wasn't expecting them to have such like such big stars. I didn't realize it was going to be the main eventers in it. And it is. Some of them are. That's, I mean, that's, Nakamura yeah. and Balor. Well, Balor, I mean, you got Nakamura. Well, Nakamura's not doing it on SmackDown anyway. He's going to win the Rumble. Mm. I reckon. So, <coughs> let's run it down as Jack coughs everywhere. Sorry. Tweet Finn Balor and Sasha Banks team up against Shinsuke Nakamura and Natalia, who I think are Cat Club, according to Natalia. Uh, the Miz and Asuka. Okay, that, that skit was funny, actually, because he's like, who am I going to get? I'm going to get, oh, it's Asuka, I'm winning. Yeah, I like, that I like that. I like that. Um, this is Biggie and Carmella. Braun Strowman and Alexa Bliss, mm -hmm. Little and Large, taking on Sami Zayn and Becky Lynch. They were a comedy duo in the 70s, don't give me that <laughs> uh, Goldust and Alicia Fox uh, will be taking on Jimmy Uso and Naomi. Okay. They, they're going to win this whole thing, he said in the promo. Do you see that introduction? The lights all went off and her music played and she jumped into his arms and he was like, yeah, it's you, we're going to win. And then the lights went down, it was Daniel Bryan in a wig. And he was like, get off, what are you doing? And then oh, Daniel Bryan was like, sweet beat, it's back together, bro. It's a and bit he was like, disturbing how wow. I can't tell the difference between his wife's body and Daniel Bryan's. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Daniel Bryan. And they walked, then, you know, <laughs> then she walked in, it was fine. It was all right. Yes. It's great, I think. Elias, we're taking on Bailey. When we get to first name. Uh, Rusev <laughs> and Lana. Oh, hey, how about that? Mm. When they got punished for being together. Yeah, that was odd, wasn't it? And then the crowd got punished because they watched Dolph Ziggler. Versus Rousseau for four months. Yeah, but he introduced Lana to Denim and America. Yeah, and everything was all right. It was all right. Apollo Crews and Nia Jax were taking on Bobby Roo and Charlotte Flair. Who do you think is going to win? Just immediately from that. I'm going Miz and Asuka, me. That's a good... It could be, could be Finn and Sasha Bang. It could be any of them, really. No, it can't, it's not going to be Rousseau and Lana. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Lana, Lana's not really a strong wrestler. She's been oh. training with Ruru. I saw the, I saw the, I saw the skits, yeah. She's been hard on her. Oh. Bless her. <laughs> sorry, that's really... I couldn't say really the I said. But that, that's that's anyway, really uh, I think that... They're going to run the ropes a hundred times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, that's what you meant. Wasn't it in English, singing encouragement? Probably. That sounds like him. <laughs> it's Lana's training. That was really good. Guys, that wasn't that bad, that actually. Really, thank you, cheers. 
Ross? I hope he serenades them Great. like in Blackadder the first at one I've scene. never watched that first uh, season. Uh, you can skip it. Uh. Like this. Uh, I think Bobby <laughs> Roode and Charlotte Flair are going to win. Again, it's not that this is going to be bad. It's like with Raw and SmackDown and NXT and 205 Live and blah, 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 blah. It's like, all right, fantastic. Mixed match. That, that, when, when you're sleeping, you should be watching WWE. Apparently. I, I reckon <laughs> that is true. There's a lot of WWE at the minute. But it's interesting that it's on Facebook. That's an interesting step. It's the future. Mm. Yeah. It's more what it represents. Uh, mm. Is Facebook going to be doing like Amazon and taking over half the planet? It's called Facebook Watch. Is that the thing? Yes. Yeah, right, okay. Yeah, and when I click the link, it just goes to those pages isn't available yet, which I was like, no. oh, it's not even a placeholder. They could have had a little picture. Never mind. Okay. I think it'll <laughs> be interesting. That starts this week, doesn't it? Tuesday. Tuesday yeah. night. Yes. 4 a.m. our time, isn't it? Oh, right. So, uh, oh, sorry. But it's going to be on the network oh. a day later or something. I can't remember. I should have read that a bit harder. Mm. Could be interesting. I think, mm. I think I'll watch it just, just to see. You know? Has it been established whether the men can fight the women? I don't think they can. But I think there could be a big heel, like, whoa, what have you done, where one of them hits one of them. Oh, they'd be tarred with that forever, though. Oh, yeah, maybe. Striking down a woman, that would be it for the career. Austin battered Lita with a chair. Different time. That was like 2000 or more. Yeah, Yeah, it'd be great, like, Tommy Dreamer's introduced to this, and everyone's, like, being really careful. Tommy (laughs) Dreamer's giving one of them a pile driver. (laughs) All In has been announced. Yeah. Get, yeah, the date has been announced. It's it's September first. Such a such a a cool new age marketing campaign, isn't it? On the Twitter, yeah. all in. All the fans were doing little joke ones. I saw an inflatable kid like us. <laughs> He's more reliable than the real kid like us. Oh, for those who don't know, kid like us is a British wrestler who gets injured all the time. It's all right. He laughs about it too. It's fine. It's all right. Never talked to him. Have you? I don't know if I have or not. I don't know. What he looks like well the mask. Of course you do. Come on. No, I, I mean, I know plenty of people that look like the mask, but I don't know what Kid Like Us looks like. You could be Kid Like Us for all I know. I shouldn't know what he you looks like, like, but I genuinely stalked his Facebook once. <laughs> oh, you're not like that, are you? Yeah, he's a... But he's it does a... come up sometimes with, you might know each other, mutual friends, and it's it was like, like that. hey, who is this? And it's like, oh, it's... I was like, oh my God, it's Kid Like Us. Sorry, that's, we're really getting, that was my fault. No, oh no, 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 Banter's, Banter's been, band, oh Banter, yeah, yeah. Banter's gone. Oh, it's silence. Gone. Big Damo has been there on my Facebook page for a while. I'm not going to say his real name, otherwise all you stalkers will hunt him down, but he's been there on my Facebook page. Killian Dane. Killian Dane's yeah, really yeah. No, I mean his actual Facebook Killian real Dane. name. His Facebook, his, his fake name. I see. Yeah, there fake. we go. He was born Big Damo. His Damel. birth name. I call, I call him Big Damo. It's really lucky that he grew. Yeah, oh yeah, how would it be an ironic name? He used to uh, be Small Damo, didn't he? He's seen that progression of pictures through his career. Yes. He used to be small demo, and then he was well, medium exactly. demo. Yeah, I've seen medium demo, not seen ickle demo. Uh, All in, which will not feature big demo, as far as we know. Well, you never know. Yeah, at this point, who do we think it's going to feature? Because who's tweeted that they're all in so far at the time of the uh, recording? Kenny Omega, the Young Bucks, Cody Rhodes, Stephen Amell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Hangman Page, and I'm one of these people that doesn't watch Arrow. I don't watch so Arrow. I don't know who Stephen oh, Amell is. He can hop the top rope, though. I remember that one. Is it SummerSlam? Yeah, again, people were like, yay, Arrow, the guy from Arrow's in this. And it would have been fantastic if I watched Arrow, but mm. I didn't. So I was like, oh, you know, if, if, if Kevin Spacey from House of Cards was in this, it would have been amazing. I'm glad that those tweets have already aged really well. Yeah. But at the time, this, you know. But, uh, yeah, it was a bit awkward to see, like, Steve Amell do, you know, a headlock. And be like, oh, my God, a headlock to re- real wrestlers. He has undefeated wrestler in his Twitter bio, which I think is quite yeah. funny. I'll brag about that. He is undefeated, yeah, of course he is. Do you know who else is? Oh, go on. No, I got pinned again. By oh, I was about to say, is he going to be used? Like, I'm not actually undefeated. I've got like a 50% record. Fantastic. Never mind. Well, Stephen Amell's going to be announced. Uh, it's going to be announced. It has been announced. Who would you have if you could pick any oh. uh, action star? Oh, action star? Yeah. Oh, to be, to, Tom to Cruise. Pierce. Tom Cruise? <laughs> um, uh, maybe a bit lower. Oh, who would I have? Can you get lower than Tom Cruise? Can I choose someone from any era? Yeah. Okay. Um, a <laughs> so reluctant to let me choose. Think of rules there. This fictional um, thing I've just made up in my head. I'd have a tag team of Daniel San and Mr Miyagi from Karate Kid. Is he an action hero? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I guess I can. I get, if I'm going for proper, have a great career afterwards, so yeah, why not? If I'm going for proper action hero, I guess I'll go for Brosnan era James Bond because I love Brosnan. That's nice. Golden Eyes, a wonderful film. Yes, it is. Really good. Yes, it is. It's a good, good Bond film, but the bad, good Bond films are also good. Marv and Harry from Home Alone. <laughs> they would sell and bump yeah. for days. They would make anybody look a million dollars, they would. 
Uh, yes. They're all in. Well, I was going to say Michael J. White, but you've blown that away. So, <laughs> uh, so anyway, yeah, so All In looks very interesting, and it's going to be building speculation on who's going to be involved. September the 1st? September the 1st, which is a long time after someone whose name sounds like Daniel Bryan may or may not be with the company. <sighs> Well, speculation. And also, the venue's going to be announced on the next being the Elite, apparently. They're doing social media so well. They are. And um, and I guess... Excuse me. That's all right. And I guess that, like, if it's Chicago, which is one of the rumoured cities, then CM Punk speculation will be through the roof. I don't think he will be in it. I don't know. He's a very stubborn man, isn't he? Yeah, he is. I don't think he'll go back to WWE, but ah. might, will he wrestle ever again? I think he might make a cameo appearance. This might be the best chance of him seeing it. It might be in Joey Janela's spring break. <laughs> but people won't, won't... They'll say CM Punk's going to be there, no one believe him, because he'll be there to see Dink the Clown make his comeback. <laughs> Who was at the last Joey... Was it Virgil? Joey Janela... No, think... no, he was at the Preston City Wrestling. Oh. Joey Janela's... Big Kirby wrestled him, didn't he? Very recently. Big Kirby. Martin, Martin Kirby. Kirby. I saw you said Big Kirby. I'm like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, Big Kirby. I mean, I guess he is big to some. I, I thought mean, Virgil. Sorry, Martin. It was Janetti, wasn't it? I thought Virgil was on the show because I've seen a gif of Janella giving Virgil a Can- of Virgil giving Janella a Canadian. Destroyer. Yeah, that was at the, the PCW's version yes. of the Joey Janella's thing. The no. world's slowest Canadian destroyer. Well, I mean, it was wonderful. Really good. Yeah, because they're doing that again at WrestleMania. Hey, if All In gets a plug, Joey Janela's Spring Break. Uh, did you go to uh, Joey Janela's Spring Break? I did, and my mate went outside. Cause, uh, was, this is at way past midnight, and he went outside for a tab, and he tried to get back in. He went, nah, sorry, you can't come should, back in. Should point out for American fans, tab means cigarette in the northeast of England. He wasn't dropping acid or anything. Yeah, my mate went outside <laughs> to drop acid. It's, it could be worse, except my mate went out to bum a fag, um, <laughs> borrow a cigarette. Um, that's how it's said. That's how it's said in America. <laughs> well, well, it's not my fault, Americans. Learn the language. Um, and he was denied entry. Oh, or re-entry, I guess. Uh, but the guy watched him leave. <laughs> and then said, now you're not coming back in. Didn't say, by the way, if you leave, you're not coming back in because it's, it's past that's the time. Very, that's so terrible. He didn't have his phone on him. And we're in America, so we, I was the guy in charge of Uber. So I had to go outside and, like, I, with enough thought, I should have thought about, like, ordering the Uber and then going back in, but I just uh. wasn't thinking clearly at the time. And so I said, that oh, was great. I mean, I mean, wasn't thrown out, but my, my mate was denied re-entry. But they're like, no, we'll let you back in, Matthew. You're famous. You can come back no, in. I'm like, they bro, wait, bro, wait, That's wait not... a minute. But what about my mate? My mate was in a YouTube series, so screw him. So I was like, ah, oh, screw George. And then I was like, ah, oh. so, saw it all on um, Twitter. The gifts so was like... Oh, I looked amazing. Oh, so, no, but no, not it was just, it, again. This was the um, Orlando live events people, not the Joy Janela's people. Uh, apparently, they, they had main, Matt Riddle versus Dan the B Seven. Yeah, but they wanted Ken Shamrock, but he asked for like way too much money. Oh, all right. So never mind. Anyway, uh, Raw twenty five is happening. It's twenty five years old. Oh, it is. It's weird to, sa- to say. I'm yeah, twenty five years right. old. I am too old as Raw. <laughs> Sorry, Matthew. Um, I'm <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm VHS man here. So. <laughs> I remember uh, VHSs. Oh, shit, fuck them. Um, people watching this won't. What? Who's VHS? <laughs> yeah. Is he wrestling Virgil? Was he in a Rumble one? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Um, um, yes. So Raw 25. The names that've been plugged on TV have been interesting to me because it's The Undertaker will be there, Steve Austin, Ric Flair, the APA, uh, DX, mm. and it's like these are the same names that. They've always been plugging for these special events from like 15 years ago. Like, remember point. those guys from '98? It's weird to, to me to see that WWE has no one that they can connect with that's headlining from, let's say, 2005 because yeah. they've either left like Batista or CM Punk or can't wrestle like Daniel Bryan or they're still headlining. Like it's still Cena yeah. or yeah. whatever. The, the Bellas. So. Oh, yeah, the Bellas will be. Yeah, I think that was it. That was mm. the, the one. We've got Brother there. Love. <sighs> He's not. No, surely not. Yeah, he's he got is, podcasts yeah, to plug. Is he? Yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's, on, he's on there. He's coming oh. out. Yeah, I know. He's coming probably. Maybe. Has he said that? Yep. No, the WWE have said that. Well, on everyone TV. said it. I, I think it was in, on the website at least. Oh. Are you see on TV, <laughs> Undertaker, Austin, Brother Love. <laughs> are, you not really, are you not really excited for Brother Love? <coughs> no, I was never excited for Brother Love. Oh, bless him. I mean, I know Bruce Pritchard's an interesting podcast. I mean, he's great, but he's not doing impressions because he's worse than me trying to do, you know, any any accent in the sun. But Brother Love, oh, well, what a great character. What? <laughs> he had a red, big red face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, that was that was it. Oh, bless him. And nice suit. Nice hairdo. I'm saying anything bad about his hairdo. Lots of uh, 
lots of ticks in lots of boxes for me. Do you really like Brother Lodge? <laughs> Do you really like Brother Lodge? No, I'm just trying to make it seem like a different thing. <laughs> um, they really have just put all their eggs in the Attitude Era basket once right. again, haven't they? <laughs> well, but hey, do you think there'll be any? Do you think there'll be any like surprise that they haven't announced? Or do you oh, think yeah. not- Brother Love being a surprise to me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Surely there will be, like Rikishi or someone. That's the thing. Like of the names of the announced, who's like left? Hogan. Yeah, it won't be. I don't think it'll be Hogan. Now he's got. He's doing all in on September first. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> are you gonna? You, apparently, it's like a really long live show. It's gonna be three hours like as normal, but the live the whole thing will run for five because it's in two venues. I know. Oh, it, it, oh yeah, two venues like at, at WrestleMania two. No, WrestleMania two was three, three venues, venues like Starcade eight seven. I mean. Yeah. I mean. Ooh. I guess. I guess it'll be interesting. It'll be more eventful than normal roles, but I don't know if anything of You'd consequence hope so. will happen. Oh, I mean, Christ, if it's not. They don't think of us, do they, when they put these shows together? Those who have to watch more, every single second more of More SummerSlam, nine hours long. <laughs> <laughs> thing ever <laughs> can you believe what time it is i can't contain myself <laughs> why it's the cult of holic hall of fame never the first yes. one ever the first one of many right here right now 52 a year <laughs> one a week four a month <laughs> jesus christ well i'm convinced <laughs> is he the first entry? It's massive and we're all gonna pick one right we're all gonna so pick one three that's three suggestions. We'll three. go to Patreon. The Patreon will pick the winner, and the winner goes into the Cult of Holic Hall of Fame. The Cult of Holic Hall of Fame. Jesus the Christ. Hall of fame. It's the biggest Hall of Fame ever. Hashtag Cult of Holic Hall of Fame. Well, no, that's too big a hashtag. There's nothing left of the tweet. Rusev. Right, yours is yours. Your that is my suggestion for the Cult of Holic Hall of Fame. While Rusev Day is still a thing in WWE, don't turn him. He like did with Bad News Barrett. I'm scared <laughs> that's going to happen. Do you see SmackDown this week? I did see SmackDown. Let's this just week. a little. Take the SmackDown discussion into this a little bit, but when Aiden oh, English God. had it, we, we can. When Aiden English told had to go at the fans for eating hot dogs and cake, I was like, why would a babyface do that? They're slowly going to turn them back heelish, aren't they? And not run with the air. Uh, turn them up. The babyface goodness, which yeah. I'm right. Yeah. So why do you think Rusev deserves to be in the Hall of Fame? While Rusev Day is still alive, we need to cash in on this opportunity. So you're not going to make a case for him? No. What? It's pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Rusev, Hall of Fame. You've not been around for long. Been around long enough, have you? Right. Yeah, long guess enough. So. Guess yeah. so. For yeah. the first ever induction in the Culder Holic Hall of Fame, the single biggest Hall of Fame in the history of Hall of Fames. Yes. I think Rusev's a suitable candidate. He had a good... He had a good... Um, WrestleMania entrance. He did. He wrote it. Oh, on the tank. Yes. Yeah, it was good, right? It's the best WrestleMania like, entrance of all time. Like VR chat Hall Knuckles. of Fame worthy. <laughs> Oh, Lana had like a polar bear around her neck. It was yeah, fantastic. Suplex the bear. It was awesome. Everyone, everything. And the USSR anthem. Again, whenever yeah. anyone brings up Russia, it's always the USSR thing. The um, hammer and sickle font. Words. There's there's wrestling, and then there's there's sorry, there's Russia, and then there's wrestling Russia. Yes. Yeah, they're very very different. Well, okay, my entry right is a bit a bit more serious, right? <laughs> Great. Yeah. <laughs> go, go on, no, no, go on, go on, go on. Carry, no, carry on. Serious. He's the most over man in the E today. This was a nervous laugh. Carry mine on. was mine was a man who has had several top notch WrestleMania entrances. And my childhood favourite, Triple H. He's my he's my pick for the colour. Your yeah, childhood favourite was Triple H. Yeah, my childhood favourite was Triple H. Oh. Do you want me to explain why? Please do, Jack. Right. So at school, I was about sort of in year five or six when I got into wrestling for the first time. No, maybe like year. It was the year two thousand, right? Now, all the cool kids who were good at football and that, mm. they liked The Rock or Austin. Oh, yeah, that's so sorry. That was you yeah. too. Yeah. They liked Rock and Austin the best, uh-huh. right? Because they were the coolest. And I just mm. felt more like I identified with Triple H because I wasn't very cool at school. I know it's shocking. And I thought, he's a bit more... without no, I don't know if they were even using the term cerebral assassin, but I thought, he thinks more. And I kind of overlooked his, him being like a massive heel. I kind of overlooked that. I thought, I like him, he's my guy. And just all the way through life, no matter what Triple H has done, no matter who he's kind of maybe buried, I've always had a soft spot for him, right? Me and Adam Pacitti went to the toilet at WrestleMania, and when we came out, <laughs> right, 
Why are you laughing at this story? Carry on, no, no, we I'm, both, I'm, I'm we both just stopped and had a chat, and we were like, oh yeah, it's been an alright show, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been alright. I wonder who's coming out next. And then we heard the first guitar chord of Time to Play the Game, and we both ran back in. Why are you laughing so much? Carry on. We both ran back to our seats because we couldn't miss that entrance, and boy, howdy. It was a. <laughs> it was awful. It was a fancy. No, it wasn't. It was a really <laughs> on good. On his little it was, tricycle. It wasn't a bells. little tricycle. <laughs> Boy howdy. <laughs> Boy howdy. It was a good entrance. Very good. <laughs> and and just what a guy. What a man. He's not my favourite these days, but he was always my childhood favourite. And I couldn't think of anyone more appropriate to put forwards for the Cultaholic Hall of Fame. <sighs> I just love the cerebral assassin. That means <laughs> that means he thinks more. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it means. What do you what do you think it means? Austin and The Rock, they fight on it. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's what it means, but when you say it like that, it just sucks on the... It comes up with shit, I think, more. No, like, no, not at all. What I'm saying, it, it makes sense, because The Rock was always a fighter on instinct, wasn't he? He had loads of heart. Triple H thinks more about what he's going to do. So, like, 2003, you were still like, I like that Triple H. Oh, I wasn't... I, I'd sort of fallen off a little bit then. But looking back, no. Not really a fan. Therefore, he can't be in the Hall of Fame. Why? Because I didn't like him once. Yeah. Didn't like one incarnation of Triple yeah. H. Got like, all the incarnations. Like DX You Triple haven't H. got 100% faith in Triple H. Yeah. I like my Blue time. Blood. I like Triple my H. time Triple H. I like Terror Rising. <laughs> I like... Great head of hair in him. I like 2016 Royal Rumble Triple H. That was fantastic. Okay, yeah. yeah and my favourite one of all might be... Um, WrestleMania 30 entrance Triple H, where it was like meta. Like, he was like, Well, I know that everyone thinks I'm like this. What do you mean? Carry on. That's just, I, I hate his WrestleMania entrances, apart from the one with Motorhead, the first one. It's all about the game and how you game Sorry. it. It's all about the game <laughs> and how you game it. It's all about the game uh, and how you game it. It's all about the game and how you're going to game it. I am the game. It's our tribute to Eddie Clark, who passed away yesterday. <laughs> oh, yeah, take the mig out of him. Which one was he in the band? The guitarist. But oh. well, he, knew, he knew his bit, but. Poor old big old Lemmy, he didn't have a clue. Didn't he? Well, he didn't write the song. It's Triple, it's, it's it's Jim Triple H co wrote. It was like Jim you... Johnson, Triple H co wrote the song. They had the credit in there. So it's like, like you... game, game, game. You're you performing for 60,000 people. <laughs> you think I hear the game are coming. It's coming well, once what's, again. What's he called, Triple H? The game? Ah, oh, that's enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew, anyway. I must yes. ask, who is your nomination? Well, given that I was given three minutes to think about this... You were, this, but you're uh, a man of wrestling. I am a man of wrestling, so it's easy. Uh, War Nev. Neville! As in King Neville. Uh, can't sue. Um, is my pick because he's mint. He's not currently in WWE. Well... Maybe, kinda. He's on the 205 Live intro, as I found out this week. Again, go watch 205 Live in the wrestling for this lovely video podcast. Mm. And I saw it, I was like, is that him in the intro? Is he back? I went back, it was Brian Kendrick. Oh! Um, <laughs> wrestling expert. And uh, he was also not on the show because Itami nagged him. Uh, so, yes, Neville, the fact that he's from this will be part of the world, mm -hmm. to see a positive representation of this part of the world is nice to see. Uh, you know, he's not Raul Moat, he's not a gasser, <laughs> he's, he's Neville, Why he's an amazing specimen. This Why is what people who are not from Why Newcastle think Raul? about Newcastle. My He's not Jimmy Nail, he's not uh, he's not an Alki, he's he's Neville, he's very talented, and the fact that he was my favourite wrestler of twenty seventeen because he had such a consistent run. Mm -hmm. Like Bad News Barrett, he's been given stuff to say that isn't actually that good. The Barrett stuff he, he had to say wasn't great, but he delivered it so well. Yeah. You can tell it's his input though, because they, they would have a clue. Alright there, lad. All that stuff. Right. Yeah, yeah, it wouldn't tell him to him say Him hiding that. the accent like we're doing now and like you did and those videos used to do where... No, I hide my accent the most. I forget sometimes what they're I'm supposed to Peter. say. Oh, right. It's all Gan Down South. See, they're Gan. Um, Colin Down South, lay. Hi, hi. Did good. Um, my relay. Uh, New monkey. Sorry. Bubba fire, bubba fire. No one's going to um, get any of that. Yeah, no one's going to care. But when I go down south to London, I'll hear the accents and go, ha, ha, ha. Oh, that's how they talk. That's us. Oh, that's there. Yeah, yeah, they'll, like, they'll mm. all talk like Bob Hoskins, and they'll come up here and take the mic. I'm like, that's fair enough. Mm. You'll sound weird to us. Uh, so, yeah, again, positive representation, Neville. Uh, I'm also happy in a weird way that he went, nah. Yeah. Not, not the in this, and left because, you know, so many people are like, oh, you're not a good employee because you're not doing what the boss is telling you. I'm like, what? Like, oh, yeah, the all knowing, ever clever WWE. Yeah, people should leave and. Recognise the worth now that like Cody Rhodes. I mean, uh, sorry, Cody R. Whatever you're bringing. Cody. I'm allowed to say. I didn't realise this until someone said like, they have Brandy Rhodes on the shows, like if it's New Japan or whatever, and Ring of Honor. So she, she can be Brandy Rhodes. That's not trademark. She's never in WWE. 
So they can go, As Brandy it's Rhodes. Cody and Brandy Rhodes. <laughs> That's that's. Kind I was like, of, oh right. What, what was yeah. her second name in? WWE? Eden Styles. Oh, oh yeah, Eden sister Styles. of AJ. No, that's not. That's not oh. canon. That's not. <laughs> what? <laughs> so wait, wait, wait. Oh. Mixed match challenge. Right Here we go. Yeah, there we go. <coughs> uh, so yeah, War Nev. Um, Fair enough. Yeah. That's a good case. It's, it's a good suggestion. It's a good suggestion yeah. that one. Positive representation. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna crap all over my hometown. Boy. Yeah, this is all. We're all looking yeah, the Geordies and now. No, I was really people say, oh, Matthew, you're a proper Geordie. I'm like, well, you know, I'm from County Durham, technically, but... Yeah, yeah, sure, I'm Geordie. From, I'm from we, North London, maybe people still tell right. me with that. Bizarrely, I am the nearest to Newcastle out of the three of us. Where are you from? Jarrow. Well, posh lad. Posh lad Jarrow? <laughs> that I don't makes know what I can say. I'm a posh farmer, mate. That's what people from Morpeth are. Yeah, uh, uh, Durhamites are uh, posh Geordies, technically, or... Holocaust Hall of Fame. Oh yeah. Anyway, yeah. It's the like, biggest oh, Hall of Fame ever. Castle. Keep it local. Like we're doing radio. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that was called like, Hall of Fame. That's a good. I think that's a solid first three. And it's up to you. Patreon.com slash point, 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 point the camera. You. Patreon.com slash. War, war lads to uh, vote on who you think. It's gonna be Rusev. We know, but we know we've tried. Rusev's gonna win. We know yes. that. Got a beer. Got a beer. Lovely. Times are tough. <laughs> mm. Speaking of tough, there's some wrestling to talk about. What? Oh, what was wrong with that? Boo! Right, well, you, Shot in you the hamstring there. You introduce him. Go on. Uh, Raw, the 24 and 50 week. Yeah, oh, that You're was right. dog You're shit. Right. 24. Oh my You're god, right. where was I going with this? You're right. Awful. Raw was on Monday night. Raw was on. <laughs> Monday night Raw was on Monday, funnily enough. And the notes we have. As I look like I'm not looking at my notes. There we go. Do this. Uh, Braun Strowman pulled down a thing on oh, the. Oh, sorry. I wrote, I wrote some of these and I should have made that more clear. Braun Strowman pulled down a thing onto. Wait, wait that's all it was, was a thing. It was a big. I mean, it was a thing. It but... didn't. It wasn't. Wow, I've had a beer. It was. <laughs> it Ross, wasn't. Steady. Steady. <laughs> I was listening. Ross nearly fell. It wasn't. <laughs> uh, you know, he fell on Kane and Lesnar. <laughs> it right. wasn't. Do anything was it? It was just a big black thing that got pulled down. Was it? A, was it a girder? A series of girders? It was saying it was a lighting rig, but it had no lights on. It was the Saddam statue from 2003. <laughs> wow! Um, what a reference! Whoa. And uh, <laughs> yeah, and again, this thing, these things happen with Kane and uh, especially Braun Strowman now. And I don't even bat an eyelid. No, it's like oh, I mean, Kane's evolved at something wacky with Braun Strowman using the bat. Braun is uh, just a meme now. A grappling hook? Yeah, he used it. a grappling hook. Grappling yeah. hook was, it, was it a grappling hook? That's what they called yes. it. I don't know if that was the right a name. A grappling hook. I thought. I think I'm... he's got a toy coming out with that as an accessory. I read it before I watched it and I misread, or just my brain just first of all read it as like repel. So I assumed, I thought he was going to be like Bond, just like whoosh, with the thing on his wrist and like gadget it down, but he didn't. Yeah, Ken Lesnar driving away going, You'll never catch us. <laughs> he goes, Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, it was an interesting segment. I still am not enthused at all about watching Kane Lesnar Braun Strowman at the Royal oh. Rumble. But it's something for the highlight reel and go, oh yeah, yeah Kane did the thing. But if Kane wins, he's never going to win. Kane is not winning. Oh. Was that your Kane impression? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Kane is not winning. That's better. There we go. Uh, it would be quite funny if he won. Imagine if you'd be delighted, he's your favourite. Ah, I like Kane, me. I'm uh, awfully scared of him as a child I was. Really? Aye. Are you still scared of him? No, no, I'm scared no. of watching him wrestle. <laughs> hey. No, I, I, he's got his place and whatever. But it's it's the Royal Rumble, so it's rare for a title to change hands. So it's like the let's just build time until WrestleMania season kicks in and the real storyline wasn't happens. It wasn't it Lesnar who wrestled Bob Holly at a, a Royal Rumble? And yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, out Bob, of revenge. Bob, Bob for, Holly broke. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say. Well, I'm sure Bob Holly tells it that way. Yeah, because and again, Bob Holly and I'm I. Uh, I'm on Bob Holly's side on this because I went, oh, oh, Bob Holly sandbagged Brock Lesnar, and Bob Holly was like, "Why would I do that? Why would I want to sandbag Brock Lesnar?" And how do you think? Also, I could yeah, do also, that? could you sandbag Brock Lesnar yeah. if he wanted to pick you up? He could pick yeah. you up. So it was an alright storyline, but it was just the wrong guy to be doing it with. And yeah. I kind of like I like Bob Holly, but I, come on, I kind of like funny little Royal Rumble title matches. It's a nice quirk of the pay per view. I think quite enjoy them. Yeah, I mean, it's sometimes it can be like Umaga versus John Cena and be amazing. Um, yeah. Top Cena versus AJ Styles last year. Yeah. The and last triple threat in the Royal Rumble was Tota Mays Balls. Rollins, Rollins Lesnar. Aye. Rollins Cena. Lesnar, Cena. They debuted the Phoenix Splash. Oh. Hasn't hit it once. I uh, <laughs> hit a mania on Triple H. Second oh, God, time I've mentioned that match in this podcast yes. after okay. Triple H's entrance. How dare you love, point out my mistakes? Love that entrance. God. 
Yeah. Wow. So good. So that happened. Uh, <coughs> the club, which is Ball at Sea, we're very good with trademarks now. The club. The club. Or a club. Yes. There are other clubs available um, of Finn Baller. Orange. Uh, minty. Fruit and nut. Fruit and nut. Plain. Yeah. If you like a lot of chocolate on your biscuit. Join our club. Join the Baller Club. Join the Club. The club. And... I think like, I think where they're smiling a lot. I've never been so much like my he's dad. He's like he's off his tits the entire time, Baller, isn't he? <laughs> he's thinking about Lego. It's like, it's like, yeah, right. But like, okay. Is it meant to be him being a bit heelish? Again, I hate WWE when you watch it and go, so he's smiling. Does that mean he's good? I think he's meant to be a bit, oh, he's getting a bit cocky. Right. It, it's him, Gallows and Anderson. And they, they were like the cool kids. Picking on poor Jason Jordan, who Gallows branded a nerd and screamed it in his face. Actually, it was because very, he is very tense, very funny. a tense moment. Ooh. That one was it. Gallows like, what's the uh, where, what's the word we used to describe Jason Jordan? I know. Oh it's god! Oh. And they're like, whoa! <laughs> they no. thought that was a good idea. Yeah, I didn't even. Jesus realize, didn't even I didn't even think about I that. Didn't that, that it. Man, nincompoop. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Cheers. Banner, banner, banner. <laughs> uh, yeah. The, seems like the retreading, I don't mean in a negative way, because it's actually pretty good. The AJ Styles Roman Reigns feud they had right after Mania, which was the best Roman Reigns has looked oh. since his run. Um, where, yeah, they were both being cool, but like, all right, if you're a dick, I'll be a dick to you, but I'm not going to be the first guy to be a dick. Yeah. So it was, you know, Styles with his club, and then Reigns with the Usos. Mm. I remember that. Uh, yeah, it seems like they're doing the same thing. Jason Jordan, after months of being like, oh, what is happening with this, <laughs> has finally found a bit of a niche as uh, being mini Kurt Angle from 2000, because he's the one going, come on, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I really <laughs> liked that. That was really good. That's great. He came out and said, we're the, we're the, the champions club. We're the champions club, <laughs> so right. It was deliberately bad, and it were. Yeah. And I think I just want him to keep being like that. Yes, I'm happy with that. Again, a little cowboy hat. He yeah, he's that. He gets some yeah. stuff. He's like... I got you the latest in gaming technology and it's Game Boy Advances <laughs> or something. It's like, uh, uh, yeah, I like, and I, I, I was liking that until I realised I think I'm the Jason Jordan of this club, this setup that we have here. No, I think it's me. I genuinely think I'm no, the No, but Jason people Jordan. like you, so. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All right, what do you mean? There you go, I proved my point there. People like you. <laughs> that's, just, that's just the sound effect box of a laugh. Wow. I, I press the button in my pocket and it sets it off. Uh, hmm. Samoa Joe injured question mark intrigue well is it real or is he taking time out of film is, it's, to, it's to coincidentally his... the same amount of time he's injured and to recover is exactly the same length as this mix uh, no. MMC I can't remember mix up. match challenge yes mix match challenge was, but he's also it was weird though because like he tweeted I'm part of this new Transformers thing and then a second later I was like oh Samoa Joe's injured he can't be part of the mix match challenge I did I think, yeah maybe they went is this going to be good for him in the long run Oh, is it going to matter at all? I don't know. It remains to be seen. However, I do hope we still get John Cena versus Joe at yeah. the Rumble. I did some research on um, on the Transformers series. My God. Yeah, because I'm not familiar with the Transformers universe at all. Um, he's going to play a character called Predator King, right? Don't know what that is, but it sounds sounds tough. And um, <laughs> he laughed at Predator King. And, he sounds, um, again, I'm not no, everything no, you're saying, Jack. In a nice sound, way, in a nice way. Um, and he's, and he's going to be like the leader of a group of probably robots, I guess. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is a great research. Uh, uh, yeah. Some robots, you're saying? Transformers? <laughs> to be okay, honest, yeah. right. I didn't... I didn't them. Are they different research. to Power Rangers? Yeah, yeah. My Power Rangers were people. Is this making you angry? No, no, you, not at all. Did you never? I, I know about Power, Power I know Rangers. about Power Rangers. Yeah, I know, obviously. Yeah, come on. Yeah, I was just trying to prod him a bit. Did you not watch it as a kid? <laughs> I love Power Rangers. Do you love Power Rangers? Oh, why I? <laughs> Who's your favourite one? The yellow one and the red one. The yellow one and the red yeah, one. I love them both. I can me. tell from your face that that's true as well. <laughs> that literally was your favourite one. <laughs> the yellow one and the red one. Not the names. I had, this, I had this thing of all their cars and you, like, you built it up. It, it was into it like a transformer. Their cars. Car. Into a Megazord. Oh, their cars, no, 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 he said. No, no, no. It was a while ago. <laughs> oh. I'm going to get an ulcer just listening to this. I think my favourite one was Don't the, be a nerd. Wasn't, wasn't the green one the cool one who like, was yes. a bit old? Right. <laughs> I'm fine with this. <laughs> Who's your favourite Power Ranger? Is it Tommy, the red that, one? I knew that Tommy was the red one, didn't you? Yes. No? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Not the green Power Ranger, obviously. Oh, uh, okay. 
no, I can't have a favourite Power Ranger or the other Power Rangers get jealous. <laughs> so, okay. that's a good save. Um, yeah, uh, also Transformers series, Trent Seven. What? You and Wolfgang. Start, start again, what? They were in a film. Yeah, they were in the uh, last one. I listened to a podcast, Jim Swan was talking to Trent Seven about this. All right. And he said he was... <laughs> Hi friends. Hello and welcome. That's really good. I was just went. Who was it who came out and did a heel promo and like and did a Jim Small impression? It was very funny. I think it was Nathan Cruz. I think he got the mic and went. Hello, my friends. It didn't sound like Smallman at all, but it was like being like. Give really, me a cheers. Your first got the holic video podcast. <laughs> it's your round. Um, no, um, I heard Smallman interviewing Trent Seven, mm-hmm. and he asked, he told that story about how he was an extra. And he just got paired with someone who was also like a stuntman or something. So they realised yeah. that their jobs were both basically to choreograph fight mm. scenes. That was their job. So the guy came around and was like, have you planned something out? And they were like, whatever. And then just did a really good one because that's their job. Oh, I think it was Jaeger Frankenstein. Or <laughs> but yeah, it's like one of the world's strongest men was there as well. So I posted on Facebook. It's like, oh, so and so and so and so. I'm like, it's all fake that. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> so yeah, um... <coughs> Transformers was great when I was a kid, but I tried watching some of the new ones. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm old. This right. is uh, Thomas the Tank in it. They've completely murdered him. Have they murdered Thomas the Tank? Aye, yeah. since it's gone CGI, it's just not Whoa, the same. Oh, yeah, so actually, so bit of that. Ring, your... Ringo's not on anymore. Uh, oh. <laughs> He's still entering fan mail. Um, well, <laughs> my, my mate's got a kid, so when we hang around, has got like, YouTube and whatever. Yeah, and Peter yeah. Rabbit is a new thing. Peter Rabbit's a new thing? Um, Peter yeah, Rabbit. he's got a film coming out. Voiced by... Um, Beatrix Potter, is that Peter Rabbit? <coughs> yeah, Beatrix Potter. I had a Peter film Rabbit. about him when I was younger. Documentary. He fell on hard times. I'm just talking nonsense. What are you on about? Yeah, so it was real. <laughs> I was like, is this real? That nearly had us. A documentary about, <laughs> about Peter, Peter Rabbit. Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a film, a cartoon film about Peter Rabbit. Don't a cartoon film? Aye. Money mm. Night Raw was great, by <laughs> the way. Yeah, uh, it was a good one. So what, these happened... What do, you, what do you think of, um, what do you think of Smackdown there? Oh, wait a minute. I, I'll tell you this first. My thing I've noticed about Raw, and again, it's, you know, you end up watching Raw and making notes for something like this. I didn't realise whenever somebody comes out, Michael Cole has to shout their nickname. <laughs> yes. So, I, like, I know he does it a few times, but I've always been paying attention to the crowd noise. Roman Reigns <coughs> comes out and you hear, The Big Dog! <laughs> <laughs> One that gets me, <laughs> Sa- <laughs> Sasha Banks, every single, It's boss time! Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, get away with yourself, man. He could, does he still call Nakamura a shin? Well, it's only on special occasions. Shinners. Shinners. Oh, Shinners. Oh, Shinners. good mates. Go on, Shin. Come on, Shin. Yeah, that was the Survivor Series, wasn't it, I think? Oh. Yeah, and you got, like, the bar! He'll just shout it. Like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, that, thanks, Cole. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's a kid. Like, oh, I've, oh, I've remembered his name. It's Kane. I mean, uh, the demon. For what do we want him to do? He's good at his job, and he might look cool. It's buzzwords and plugging, and that's it. Yes. And he's good at that. He does a good job, but he's, yeah, he's the guy. Uh, I also liked Smojo beating Rhino, which was a marquee match for Teenage in 2005. And he says, <laughs> it doesn't mean that his loss to Roman Reigns last week, and what was a very good match, uh, doesn't mean anything because he's already taken years off Roman Reigns' career and he's still standing. Mm. It's like, okay. And then he threatens Cena. And uh, also the club, that really took over Japan for a number of years. Which is going to look great on a T-shirt, by the Did way. They say that? Yes, the club that really took over your <laughs> yeah, yeah, number like, yeah. of years. <laughs> and uh, other highlight of the Miz Taraj beating up Reigns was uh, after Booker T said Jason Jordan was better than Dean Ambrose <laughs> and achieved more than him. Uh, <laughs> Graves said he's like the Swedish chef of the Muppets. No one knows what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Which again, the only reason to watch Jason Jordan other than the fact that he's finally got this little wacky thing going on is like Booker T, because the commentators always go, So what do you think about Jason <laughs> Jordan? And just let Booker T ramble for like 10 <laughs> minutes incoherently, then go, You said the complete opposite last week, and then talk over him before he gets to defend himself. I won't, I won't name any names, but Pachiti did the same thing once in a car journey. I'll not say it was about. Any names, Pachiti? There was someone in the car oh, right. who is big into conspiracy theories, and we all know this about him. Oh, and right. and um, I'll tell you who it is. I think I know who it is. Right. Um, <laughs> and Pachi goes in like a, he thinks he's being sneaky in like a tactical way. He goes, "Let's talk about conspiracy theories." Anyone got any big conspiracy theories? Jack he goes to me first, and I go, "No, I don't really know much about conspiracy theories." I was like, "All oh, right, okay, you like this person," and he just like he tried to like wow. rather than go straight to him, he went to me first to like divert the. It was very funny. What a oh. dick. <laughs> Oh. So these good conspiracy theories are like everyone got involved. It sort of broke down. It wasn't like letting Booker T ramble too much, really. Sadly, but never mind. Broken Matt Hardy has a new theme. Thoughts? They're getting slower and slower into doing 
something with Woke and Matt it's Hardy. It's sad how it's the typical WWE <laughs> thing of like, there's one thing you can do, let's just, that's the only thing you can do, you can laugh. 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 It's like, he laughs at Bray Wyatt and the crowd's all hyped, something's gonna like happen, TNA, and it cuts the break. TNA one week had a, like a babby fight in the ring and you had him boxing a kangaroo who didn't know what was coming <coughs> next. This time, laughter. All right, what did Kevin Nash say? Like, with things, you can't be half pregnant. You either do something or you don't. You can't be half pregnant. Kevin Nash right say now, you can't be half pregnant. Yeah, I mean, he's right. I think it's a great expression. You can't be half pregnant. And right now, Matt Hard, Woken Matt Hard, don't say broken, Woken Matt Hardy mm. is half pregnant. Right. Uh, whether or not he'll incubate that, some that more might, remains to be, be seen. That might be the episode title. Woken Matt Hardy is half pregnant. Is, That's yes. That's a good one. Uh, but there was the interesting picture on Twitter this week of him with the guys from Anthem. Because oh, they've settled yeah, the lawsuit. Sure. So it's yeah. like, it like a, hey, yeah. like, wait a minute. Like, well, won't you guys? Oh, whatever. So I think maybe he lost and went, oh, screw it. Can get a photo. My kid loves you. Borash wasn't there, though. He, he took the photo. Yeah, fair enough, yeah. No, I like Borash. Mm. Uh, and I think that was pretty much it for Raw. Anything else? Anyone want to say anything? Going once, going twice. No, SmackDown. Sorry for preparing these rubbish notes when you've got really good ones. Oh, I, I don't mean to brag. <laughs> so, I'm a weird guy. I actually watch wrestling. <coughs> And then hate on it. Uh, Owens and Zayn got screwed by Shane again. Yeah, as man. we see, I like the storyline with uh, Shane McMahon. Oh, he's actually explained it more; it'd be better. So it was a three-on-two handicap match because it can be a handicap match for the title at Royal Rumble. And Shane McMahon made it Nakamura uh, Naki to call. Shinny, she calls him Shinny, uh, Shinny, Shinny me pal, uh, <laughs> Orton me brother, and uh, AJ Styles War Allen War Uncle Al. Uncle yeah. Al, there we go, that's uh, Michael Cole's mates, versus uh, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. The Yep movement. Hmm. I hope they, hope they get rid of that. And, it was, and yeah, it was a handicap match, and they started for a bit, and Owens and Zayn went, ah, screw this, and try to get counted out. Shaman Man appears and goes, nope, it's no count out rules. And so they go, all right, try bashing them with chairs. He goes, no, now it's no DQ. Then they got destroyed. And so it is. The storyline that is Shane McMahon getting more and more of a dick because he hates Owens and Zayn. Do you think it is? He does have a point, it... though. That's the thing. It's it's not quite. I'm just evil McBaddy. They did. They did. One of them did nut his dad in the face. Like, right. But that, that's that's what he burden. says. He goes. Wait a minute. Daniel Bryan's like, well, you are the GM. You have to be fair. Mm. And she's like, no, I don't. I, my, my dad owns a company. Uh, so it's it's a it's a nice little storyline. Do you think they are going to turn him heel? I like it when it's a bit, you know, not quite proper bad. Okay. You have to make a decision because some people just cheer Shane McMahon because, hey, I remember him, he's from 98. He's got nice shoes. He already is heel for me. Yeah, some people can boo him for the right reasons or yeah. cheer him because it's like, well, yeah, he did hit his dad. Yeah, forget about that though. It's just wrestling, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Step in the ring. Like this, it's, yeah. It's not, it's not ballet, is it? That's what they say. They do say that you don't every see week. Nothing in ballet. Yeah, I guess. Do you? Well, you might see a theatrical one. There you go. <laughs> Take a swan dive. Ballet yeah. Yeah. Um <laughs> Yeah, the, the negative of it is, though, is that's nearly all the show. Like, mm. Nakamura, Orton, and AJ Styles are just like, okay, let's wait for our cue, and that's it. They're not doing anything. It They're takes just part a of lot. this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, what well, the rest of the show was Rusev getting rolled up by Fandango. Of all people. Say Ross, say. Well, this, this is like the fashion police were like the hottest thing on SmackDown, and now they're not anymore. And now. Rusev D are the hottest thing on SmackDown, yeah. and now they've gone. Now we'll give the win to. It was weird. I mean, it is in the US title tournament, so you can say, "All right, we'll find." It's, yeah. it's not like the end of the world, but I think I like Fandango and Breezak. Tyler Breeze, Jesus. Tyler Breeze. <laughs> to say Fandango and Breezango, <laughs> um, three of them. They their skits on SmackDown were great, and then they kept on. <laughs> it's like, all right, I'll keep on doing it, like, and they beat that horse till it was dead. Mm. Is that the biggest slap in the face you can get though today in the era of the network? Is having a dot com show? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> That's where it all is now, isn't it? It's all on there when nobody sees it. And then they, then they have the affront to go, oh, this was on WWE.com. Like, all right, so you want me to get a TV subscription to watch this? The network to see the other bit, and I'll go on WWE.com as well. If you go subscribe to YouTube and Facebook Watch, yeah, and yeah. Twitch. No, they don't do. No, they don't do Twitch. Impact, no, impact, of, impact of started a Twitch thing. What, what was all they used to do back in the day? 
Twitch do Wrestle Circus and uh, that's around, WWE. and they do Triple Mania. What was the one Vince spunked like millions of pounds on, then just stopped doing it? Tout. Oh, Tout. 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 Tout oh yeah, Tout and Twitch. Two and then <laughs> Daniel, very different things. Daniel Bryan brought Talking Smack back. Smack and Talk. Smack and Talk on Tout. <laughs> oh, yeah. on Tout. It was very funny. Daniel Bryan, when he wants to like take the mickey, is so funny. Uh, one of the funniest skits of not just last year of any wrestling is him talking about the, the big hog the big hog James Hellsworth James, uh, and I can't James wait for Hogsworth. him to get booked in the UK so I can go we're made to go big hog big <laughs> hog big hog just Renee Young just is completely blindsided by it like I, she can't keep it together I'm literally blindsided by it uh, by James Hogsworth Mojo Rawley speaking of big hogs uh, took on Adam Zach Pacini's Ryder favorite. Adam Pacini's literal favourite and oh, he's not here we could say anything about and, yeah he loves Mojo Rawley no no he is no, he, he is his favourite and he's his real, oh, he really? like, real life friend as well no, they just they just mates. They just Can we just say it in horrible? Yeah, yeah. DM yeah. each other all the They're time. They're just pals. That's all. Mojo right. calls Adam my main man. <laughs> Pachiti <laughs> calls him my big dog. He doesn't really. <laughs> big dog, big dog. <laughs> but, uh, Mojo calls Adam that, which is I find fantastic. They're fr- They're actual. I don't know. If, I don't know if they've met. His Facebook profile photos. He tried. Mojo, isn't it? <laughs> he tried to meet him. He didn't quite get there though. No, not, not in a creepy way. I think they were going to meet, but then he saw that Bachidi had photoshopped all those pictures of him together. <laughs> yeah. like, and then, like the, the Eiffel Tower in Disneyland, and he was just like, nah. "Have you seen the Partridge episode where he walks in? He's in his <laughs> big fan's house, and there's like in the room with all the pictures." <laughs> He actually got that tattoo of it. It's just started, so it's just the <laughs> eyes here. But it's it's it takes a long time to tattoo an entire face. Sorry, Adam. Adam quite likes. What do you mean? I thought Adam, it was just. Oh, it's not no, true. I was just saying it for when he watches oh. this back. Um, oh, oh, okay. He stood there now. Okay. <laughs> he's loving it. K Fave. Do you think the camera's moving by itself or not? That <laughs> yeah. <could be> it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> um, Sorry, Mojo. Oh, uh, yeah. No, Adam quite likes Mojo. <laughs> Sorry. It's just. Uh, he <laughs> took on Zack Ryder again in a rematch of their Clash of Champions uh, five star classic. Um, I, was good. I enjoyed that. Mojo's new theme is great. I like it. It's, yeah, I don't like it, me. You know, it doesn't really get started, does it? It's like a little bit, brrr, little bit. Brrr. Yeah. <laughs> does that thing on the yeah, bird, <laughs> bird, bird, bird song. Yeah. <laughs> That's really, that. uh, but they, really pleasant. And I think he's got a good look now that he's bad because he is, you know, like he's five big, hour energy he's build. He's shaven head jock man. Right. Yeah. And the negative thing is him in the ring and on the commentary, they're shouting about he's got the killer instinct. He's got this. Like, he, he doesn't though. Well, his finisher. Kind of. instinct. Well, it's the a, ultra combo. It's a running forearm smash. Yeah. It's a bit like bang, and now the match is over. Yeah, I kind I like of get that. what they're going for, but I think you're right. They could emphasize different parts of his persona. Yeah. Yeah. It's just when you notice that they're trying to force something down your throat, yeah, so yeah. to speak. That wow. it's it's really. I mean, come on. Wow. I'm sorry. Low hanging fruit. All. Oh. What do you call me? Um, <laughs> So yeah, uh, other things that happened on SmackDown, the Riot Squad, uh, Ruby Riot, of Riot Squad, lost to the returning Becky Lynch. The Riot Squad have done not much since joining SmackDown. Lost quite a bit. Yeah, they've. Whereas Paige and Absolution, this big deal. Oh my God, they're back. Mm. Like they just. Well, we're making up the numbers. I saw him. Um, what's he called? He writes for Uprock. Brandon Stroud. Mm. He um, he called them the Pokemon Blue version of Absolution. I thought that was really damn it. Yeah, that was really. Up. Oh, did you? Uh, no, that's that's way too good. I wish you hadn't said it on camera so I can rip it off. Never mind. That was good. What do you mean? That's that's what people. I wasn't a Pokemon. Like, were, people no. who weren't watching Power Rangers played Pokemon Blue and Red. So. No, like you could get one of no. two Pokemon games. Oh, you have to explain was, the joke, don't we, was, to the kids? Was, oh, God. Right. No, I'm explaining it to Ross. No, but like, the people watching this, you're right. No one's going to no, know that reference. I thought there was like four. Pokemon. Yeah, but the first, red, the first two were red and blue. And they were nearly identical games, but there were slightly different things on each one. Mm. Hence, Absolution and the Riot Squad. Mm. There's also yellow where you had to pick Pikachu at the start of Rubbish. That's right. Terrible. And like Rubbish, uh, <laughs> Shelton Benjamin and Chad Gable came to the ring. I like Gable's teacher. American as... Jesus. What's going on Is there? Is that a fire alarm? No, it's not. Oh, it's just that, a door. That's the loudest doorbell I've ever Man. heard. There, you probably haven't moved. All right, right. Anyway, uh, Chad and Shelton to, are now very salty about their loss to the Usos because they had the titles won. And then Andy Bryan yeah. said, no, 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 no. Oh. No, the, the, it was the wrong Uso. And the referees turned it over. And then Daniel so. Bryan came out and said, 
no, no, the referee's decision was final. Yeah. And everyone went, no, it wasn't. The ref came out. <laughs> like, the company loves it to final. He just lied and he said, oh, the referee went to the back. He thought, oh, I've made a mistake. Then he came back out. That's not what happened at all. That never happens yeah. in the wrestling. The second referee came out. And that never happens yeah. in wrestling as well. The referee's decision is yeah, final. It's... Otherwise, heels would never win. Right, there's, yeah, no oh. consistency. And <coughs> we're very pissy and uh, we're very clear about it. And did even went to say, well, Daniel Bryan, what do you want us to do? Beat them twice? And Daniel Bryan went, Bing. Mm. That's a great idea. Which is like, all right, but that's exactly how they did the handicap match thing for the Royal Rumble. It's like, what do you want me to do? Wrestle them both at the same time? It might as well be a handicap match. And Brian's like, my God, I'm the smartest guy in wrestling, me. Have you noticed that's that when, a great idea for the Royal like, Rumble. Have you noticed that when TLC comes up or when Money in the Bank comes up or something, <laughs> yeah, everyone always talk about like, you know what, I really need to climb this ladder to success. And they're always like, well, it's funny you should say that because you'll get an opportunity. Or even worse, it's like, oh, we need a chair match. It's like randomly Baron Corbin's like, I'm just going to hit you for chair. Yeah. Wow, you should have a chair yeah. match at TLC. <laughs> a ring steps match. Y y yeah. <laughs> One. And now it's time for our most favourite part of the show. Certainly. <laughs> Certainly. Talk to the audience. Mailbag. With the mailbag. A the bag of mails. You too can be in the mailbag section, not literally, but in spirit, like the end of Return of the Jedi, by sending your emails <laughs> to mailbag at cultaholic.com. Of course, if we don't get any, we'll have to make them up. Or read YouTube comments. Which and no one wants that. So here's our first one. Oh, I've picked out the bag. Like that. You can see it's real. Uh, Tom in Worcestershire. Worcestershire. England. Hey guys, interested to hear what you make of the all in show that's been announced for September 1st. Where do you think it'll be held? Mm. Will it be good? <laughs> <laughs> what names do you think they'll attract? Attract? Appear? What names do you I think Tom's having a bit of a think there. Uh, that's a good question, Tom from Worcestershire. 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 Tom, good lad, good question. Don't I wonder know where he's from, Worcestershire. Yeah, yes. Um, Be more specific. Very what vague, your address? Lad, Tom, we want to come pay you a visit. Where what, do we go? What room of the house do we visit? And do you leave your windows <gasps> open? Looking forward to all in, actually. I think it's going to be a good show. I am also excited for this thing. What? I wonder if Tom who? Tom. <laughs> Tom the Young Bucks dad who lives in Worcester. All right. Yeah, the All In show looks very interesting uh, because they want to do 10,000 yes. people. Yes, seats. And nobody outside of... Oh, is it w did TNA... Do, no, TNA did it in the UK. In America, nobody's done it <coughs> since WCW. Right. Apart from WE, obviously. Uh, so, yeah, it will be interesting to see if they can do it. I mean, I'll have some like, yay, go do it, yeah. I'm not going to fly over there, but I'm going to be there in spirit. If it is over there, one of the rumoured ones is London, but I don't think I don't think it will no. be London. No. It's a, every year people go, should WrestleMania be in London or the UK or whatever like that? I'm like, if it's more profitable to do it here than it is over there, yeah, that's where they'll mm. go to. People, are, Cities line up to pay the reader to go the places. It's not, yeah, yeah. the reason go, where should we go? Where's good this time of year? They go, you know, it's like who's going to give them the most amount of money, so. Yeah, but... Oh, I just wish it was more. I just wish it was more the other way. I wish it was more magical, less businessy. No, you know, what? WWE selection of WrestleMania venues. Yeah, how dare a business act like a business? Yeah, but I would just want the world to be different, right? Yeah, that's all I want. Uh, we all, we all, we all want change. Yeah. So all in should be held somewhere near us. I think that's what we want. Yeah, get it in Riverside. Yes, get it in the Riverside, <coughs> the O2 Academy, Newcastle upon Tyne. No, yes. I think it'll be Chicago or Philadelphia, one of the two. R wrestling cities, yeah. Philly, Hot beds. Yeah, Philly doesn't really have that wrestling scene it used to, like O2, because actually maybe Ring of Honor still run there. Who knows? Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's, yeah, that's one. Um, but yeah, Chicago, because then people can go. Oh my! But then people yeah. can make lots of money by going. Will CM Punk be there? Yeah. Chicago. Yeah. There. I mean, it's back but then, on. If it, then if it's then if it's in Chicago. And I'm assuming he won't. And if he doesn't, it's going to be a disappointment. So maybe they'll not go to Chicago just to avoid that whole... Because if they announce mm. Chicago, instantly everyone will go, CM Punk's coming. Mm. Another interesting thing is they're running uh, part of Los Angeles weekend. Oh, they're running Rams Bowl weekend? Yeah. It's really, oh, that's interesting. So, so who are they going to get? Uh, apparently all the wrestlers love working Bowler. Apparently all the lads love it. Apparently. Yeah. So I've heard. 
I love it that Ricochet did an interview recently. He was just like, ah, oh, you know, I'm sick of wrestling bowler. I might not do it next year. And everyone around him was going, all these wrestlers are dying to get in a bowl. And Ricochet's yeah. like, yeah, I'm sick of it. So The venue looks warm. It's hot. Oh, being there, it is, it is been, humid. Very humid. Yeah, it's very wow. against, you know, fire regulations and stuff like that. <laughs> it's nice to go once and go, well, this is literally the Gosh. size of this room, pretty much. This this famous arena. It's a shed. Yeah. It was nice. That's good. But so, Southern California is lovely. It's so humid. Never There's seen. pineapple trees gra grown. Granite. Probably Jordy there. Uh, so I recommend it. Uh, Sam in Dallas, Texas. Not England. Not another letter. Dallas, England. Uh, Dallas, England. Yo, guys. Very. <laughs> I speak Tal uh, Talus. 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 Salad. Yo, guys. Very excited about the new podcast. Well, oh, you haven't seen it yet, mate. No, it's uh, kind simple of... question, really. Who will win the Royal Rumble? Women's and men's. Nakamura, sorry. Nakamura. Go on, Ross. John. Johnny John. Big match, John. Really? Big match, John. No. Break, no. Breaks the record at WrestleMania. <laughs> Jesus, hold on. Everyone will boo. <laughs> I have never picked a Royal Rumble winner successfully. Have you not? In all the years I've been <laughs> watching wrestling. Not even Triple H. In you only wanted in 2008 to win. Umaga. Yeah, so that was convinced he was going to win. It's like, well done, Matthew. <coughs> uh, so for this, it doesn't matter who will be. This is who is not going to win, definitely. Uh, Samoa Joe. Right. Sorry, Joe. Yeah, he's not going to win, though. <laughs> yeah, and women's. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, Ronda. It's going to happen, isn't it? They went for dinner the other night. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Do we sound like stalkers? They went for dinner. Ronda Rosie had so dinner. <laughs> yeah, not, we saw you, her through the window. It, if you read it through TMZ, you're completely sane. If you go there mm. looking yourself, then you've got to ask questions. Yeah. What about you, Jack? <laughs> I read it through TMZ. Oh, sorry, Nakamura. Uh, sorry, men, uh, women's one. I've had On the ball. Laughing at me again. Um, I think... I'm a cameraman. You can be replaced in an instant. <laughs> I think... Um, I want it to be Oscar, but I think it'll be Ronda. Mm. Rousey. I'm gone with uh, Asuka. Asuka. Mo in London. Mo. London, UK. Mo, Mo, Mo. Hello, gents. Oh, you're so polite. Lovely. What is the best big four? Assuming it means pay per view. Or oh, network specials, as they're called now. <laughs> is the Rumble actually as good as people say, or is it overrated? Savara series seems to provide more consistently good shows, in my opinion. Hmm. I like when people have a question that's just disguised as an opinion. Yeah. Like, Do you agree? <laughs> uh, the Rumble's the most special. No, well, WrestleMania is the biggest one, but the Rumble's the one that's like Christmas for wrestling fans, isn't it? Everyone's like, it's the Rumble. Like, what's gonna happen? Right. Yeah, you can't hit the Rumble. Yeah, it's been. Rumble. It's. I had this fun one. uncle, isn't it? <laughs> that fun uncle everyone loves. I, oh, I was agreeing with you until you said fun uncle. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 hang on. Party. <clears throat> uncle Dickhead. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Well, it's been Uncle Dickhead in 2014 and 15. Mm. In the summer of 16. I enjoyed 2017's Rumble. A lot of people did not. I, I didn't, whatever. personally, but yeah. But overall, Rumble, absolutely. It's it's the one event, I'd say even more than WrestleMania, that people who don't watch wrestling can enjoy because it's essentially a game show slash wrestling match slash the floor is lava. Yeah. You can go, okay, you don't need to know who any of these people are. Just know if they land outside, they're eliminated. Yeah. So it's easy. It's very accessible for people. And I watch it, I've watched more wrestling shows, uh, Rumble shows than I have with non-fans than I have anything else. Uh, so yeah, I, no, I Rumble, absolutely not overrated. How dare you? The Survivor Series was good in 95 and 96. It's 2016? Not... I really like the 2016 one. Actually, no, 2016's had that but then last really good main event. Uh, oh yeah, sorry, the Kevin Owens Goldberg. No, that was it was Goldberg Lesnar. Wait, what? Yes, Kevin Owens Goldberg. That's what I meant. Was, uh... I'm very hungry. <laughs> yeah, no, sorry, that Fastlane. was uh, Fastlane. No, I meant, <coughs> of course, I meant Brock Lesnar Goldberg. I thought the Survivor Series match. The match. Yes, that's what I meant. Survivor Series uh, Raw versus really SmackDown. Good. Yeah, they were really they were good. good. All three of those were good. But yes. then this year's. Mm, mm. Yeah. I was just soothing Triple H's ass, wasn't it? Soothing his ass. Ooh, ooh, I missed that. <laughs> You've liked that. Ooh. What? Oh, I, didn't I, didn't like, I didn't like the finish of the main event. Cerebral assassin. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> the Rumble, I liked Rumble last year because I watched it in the casino. Oh. And it was so nice because people were making so much noise for when Jack Allen came out with the umbrella that normal people stuck their head around the door to see what was happening. Oh, nice. Was that, was that, did that get that big, that big a reaction? 
the, the umbrella. With us? Oh, yeah. yeah no, yeah, just yeah. that Jack Gallagher was there and existed. When he got... Yeah, yeah, that, yeah true. Was it, do you think Pete Dunne will be in this one? I think Pete Dunne will be in this one. Yeah. Yeah, right? I didn't think about it until you said it. I think yeah, he will. Yeah, you should, because actually doing stuff with him. But then if he is, do you think the title bit will be in it as well? As, like, his nemesis? Nah, I think they'll leave, like, one token break. Yeah, yeah. But if Neville's going to return, that's going to be the show he just returns at. If he doesn't return at Rumble... Yeah, who knows? Can Neville be in the Rumble? Oh no, Jack Gallagher's a cruiserweight. I was going to yeah. say because yeah, cruiserweights aren't real wrestlers, are they? <laughs> no, they're not, not according to WWE. <laughs> they're like Tamagotchis. <laughs> yes. Look after them. And now our closing segment, which we affectionately call "Would You Rather." Yes. <laughs> Pretty self-explanatory, to be honest with you. So good. Jack, do you have a "Would You Rather"? I do have a "Would You Rather." Oh, good. Would be awkward. Would you rather introduce your parents and have to convince them to let them stay for a week? Right, that's the situation here. Would you rather have as a guest for a week in your parents' house, right? In character Boogeyman or in <coughs> character Greg Valentine? I just think about the most miserable looking, like... In character <laughs> Greg Valentine because right. he brings the sweet high grade with him. <laughs> <laughs> Does he? That picture of... Craig Valentine and Brutus the Bower Beefcake, you've seen it? But they're both in an armchair, he's got their shirts off, Brutus has got his nipples pierced, <laughs> it's disgusting. But on the, <laughs> on, the, uh, on the arm of the chair is just a massive old bong. Right. I think it is anyway, so That's Greg would come then. round, yeah. Oh, my dad's on the little Greg. Greg, uh, yeah, because we'll take him... Well, it takes him a long time to get warmed up, famously, so by the time they've asked him hello, uh, some days will have passed and they'll have gone. Oh, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> so. good, good answers. Mm. Ross. If push came to shove and the gun was just under your chin, <laughs> would you rather lick the Big Show's left armpit or his white one? His right one. His white one. His white one. His uh, right one. What's that got? Left. That's, your, that's, 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 is that's the one left. I got. Why? Because. <laughs> See, I would go. Because he's a wrestler. He's right. doing most of his offense with his right. That one might be a little sweatier. See, that, that was my logic's complete flip reverse there. But similar lines. Cause, yeah, because he's doing the knockout punch. That's getting more air. That one's always like that, and it's yeah, going to be yeah. collecting more. I think it's, a, is... it's a massive question, I which yours... I know Matthew's taken a long time to think of. <laughs> uh, uh, it's a huge answer. This. Oh no, I, I don't need to think. I, I choose the gun. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right. Um, Maybe just a little, little, tiny. <laughs> Like a rabbit. It's worth <laughs> losing your life over just like 0.1 of a second. It's because I've got nothing interesting or exciting to say. So yeah, just shoot us. Um, would you rather watch Battlefield Earth or an hour and a half of Dolph Ziggler 2017 promos? Wow, you're gonna have to give a bit of. I don't know what Battlefield Earth. What, oh, uh, give really? a brief. Give a brief. Give a I brief. would watch Battlefield Earth because I don't know what it is. Give a brief. Oh, really? Oh, all right, it's a horrible example. <laughs> At the end then. of this, um, it's just a new plug for Battlefield Earth. No, I have all the things to plug. Uh, no, it's it's one of the worst films of all time. Uh, it's very enjoyable if you like bad films like myself. Because I was gonna say The Room, but everyone loves The Room, yeah. so it's not really a comparison. Um, it's a bad, bad film. Son of the Mask. <laughs> no. Battlefield. <laughs> The remake of Total Recall. While you, while you, sorry. The Island of Dr. Moreau. I'd watch, I'd watch Battlefield Earth because I, I'm going to find out what it is while we, while we. <laughs> I would watch great the, question. I would watch find out the what film it is. you've inserted into this situation, whatever film that is. Great. Um, I wouldn't necessarily. I'm just not a big film guy, so I won't have seen it. So. Yeah, fair. Battlefield Earth. Something new to oh, if you're not a big film guy, you'll love Battlefield Earth. In the year 3000, there are no countries, no cities. Earth is a wasteland. And man is an endangered species. This sounds excellent. That sounds really It's exciting. a Scientology film, oh, basically. Oh, right, okay, well... And it's even worse than what you're thinking of right now. Oh, let's not. Well, that, that was... A, that well, was, that was great. That was I like that we ended on uh, Battlefield Earth. And I think, you know, a target <laughs> audience have gone from Power Rangers to Pokemon Blue... To I think I mentioned Scientology. Tam I mentioned Tamagotchis. At one Tamagotchis. Time. Yes, we are on the cutting edge, and that's why we should be in front of a camera talking about wrestling. Yeah, man. And that's all we've got time for here at the first episode of Cultaholics Wrestling Video Podcast. I've been Mafu. My Twitter is at Mafu Greg. Don't follow me. All I tweet about is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure and SNK games. Jack, what's yours? I'm Jack the Jobber. Do you follow me because I'm insecure and I like followers. And Ross. At Ross on wrestling, I am terribly lonely. <laughs> Just As are you for watching Smiling this. politely. But you could be um, less lonely by following us on patreon.com forward slash cultaholic. Where you can vote for um, 
The Hall of Fame! <laughs> right. Biggest Hall of Fame, of fame ever. You designed for shows like this. So, love so, you're of, so good. I love Hall of Fame. There's one more thing we've got to mention. Mailbag. Yes, the uh, bag of mail. You can send your emails, your tweets, your death threats. Mailbag at cultaholic.com. Or oh, you can just tweet us. You can YouTube comments and call us all horrible, horrible names. Uh, I don't think they will, because I think this has been a roaring success. Horrible, horrible names. Do you know what? Do you want to do our? Do you want to do our sign off? And do you want to say it all together? Do you want to do it? Oh, just one more. Do we one have more, to? One more thing. Have we got a sign off? Yeah, it's just it's just join us. Just say join us on three. Join us on three. Yeah, ready? One, two, three. Join, join us, us on, on three. three. There we go. Oh, Lovely. Oh God, see you later. <laughs> it's that one coming down the street. <laughs>